I don't know you. Why is she being so nice to us? She wants something. Oh, dear God, she's a psycho pervert. She's down to earth is all. So you... She never wants that. I hate you. If I touch myself, she closes her eyes and pretends she doesn't feel anything. She told me she leaves her body. I think she's lying. I think she likes it. Shut your disgusting mouth, you slut. Get out of this room. I like this one. It's trashy. Drop it. You're so mean. We have to go. We're not afraid of the police. No. It's fine. What are our lives now? It's a prison. You can't keep us here. It's not right. It's not right. She didn't know what she was doing. No. What do you want? Dear diary, it was the glorious 3rd of September when I was finally freed from the shadows. The future had never seemed brighter. Dear diary, my soul plums new depths of despair. The hell we will. We're nobody's trained monkey. No. No, get away. Get away, get away. No, get away, get away, get away. Lies. You're telling lies. You saved us. We're staying right here. This is our home. I agree with Miss Mars. I smelled whiskey. We're not performers. Speak for yourself. When I'm calling you. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. Please, Miss Elsa, we don't want to just stand here and be stared at. It's embarrassing. Dot doesn't have any talent. That's <laughs> true. I don't even know that song. Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Sad, sad world When a girl will break a boy Just because she can Oh, help me, but don't tell me to deny it I've got to cleanse myself of all these lies Till I'm good enough for him I've got a lot to lose And I'm betting high, so I'm begging you You talking in your sleep? No, it's Elsa. She came to congratulate us. We'll tell her thanks. We're sleeping. No, thank you. We just washed our hair. You can't blame yourself. Stop! Stop it! What's wrong with you all? God. Meep is dead! Don't you care? You're being disrespectful. Look how much pain Jimmy's in. This is wrong. We should remember me by working even harder. Maybe dedicating the show today to his memory. So what happened to him? And he was happy. He'd found a home with others like himself. I never agreed to this. You're being selfish. I have talent. And a man who wants to marry me and have babies. It's all coming true, but none of it is possible with you here. He'll never marry you. 
Without me, you're just another plain Jane oh. with big dreams. Please, oh, no. It'll be over before you even feel anything. I told you. Tell her, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, God. You're making me separate and whole. And please, take good care of Beth. It wasn't a dream the last time you tried to kill me. Aren't you afraid you'd miss me? I'd miss you. Mean as you are sometimes. Although sometimes I wonder who you are since we came here. I'm someone who's not afraid to do what it takes. I'm going to work hard, save my money, and find a doctor who will do that surgery. This life isn't making either one of us happy, Beth. But one of us will die. And one of us has a chance at happiness. I'm sure that's not the only thing you give away for free. You don't come in until here, stupid. Well, I can't do anything right when you talk to me so mean. Well, you can rehearse when we're done. We're the headliners. We should probably discuss our salary. Since we are now the star attraction. Ha you wanted to see us? Now that there's a full house, we're warming up for you. You can't be serious. But it's our faces on the banner. But the pink cupcakes. Oh, what a treat. The whole hour would be us. How would we ever learn enough songs? Oh, I adore Dinah Shore. We were never allowed to play her records. Mother said she was high yellow. Is he right for being such a glutton? <laughs> Started out as the sniffles. Turned into something much worse. Oh, I can't hear her. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Please, you have to get us to a hospital. I don't want to come gagging. No cupcakes. We have to watch our figure if we're going to be television personalities. He wants to make us television stars. I don't understand. We could have such a fantastic time singing and dancing on our own TV show. I don't trust her. She's angling for something. Who cares? I'd love a new hat. Miss Elsa, didn't you say we were going into town? The sign back there said it was to the left. Diary, happiness is too small a word to describe how I feel. The shades of gray that was my world has turned incandescent with color. What's that? Dot warned me about men and their sexual appetites, but her fears have proven unfounded. Dandy is a gentleman through and through. <laughs> Dear Diary, what manner of servitude my sister and I have found ourselves in is not certain. I was hoping we could go back and retrieve some personal items from our tent. <laughs> we haven't been beaten, nor are we bound by chains. I have to wonder, though, what dark intentions await. It's Dorothy. I go by my full name now that half of me is gone. Dandy's easy money, this gilded cage, may finally set me free. My thoughts are my own, sister. My diary is my sanctuary. My one private place. Bet and I have made a pact never to read what the other has written. No, Jimmy would never lie about that. You're the true hero. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. We had a deal. Tell me your secret now. What's the matter with you? Tell him something. Anything. He lied about Jimmy. Jimmy, you told us you saved those kids from the killer clown. It was Dandy. He was there when you were unconscious. He's the real hero. How do you know, Dandy? About the surgery? You read my diary. I want to leave. There's something wrong with Dandy and you know it. I'm sorry. 
But I choose my sister. Always. We have to go. That's not quite how it happened, actually. What are you doing? Keep it buttoned. I know what I'm doing. We're not going to Hollywood. We don't trust Richard Spencer. Why take a chance on a stranger when we have all we need right here? <laughs> In fact, I think we should take 50% of the box office. Doc. <coughs> Who do I remind you of? Mother. She wore the same shade of lipstick. I bear a striking resemblance to Eve Arden. She was nominated for an Academy Award for Mildred Pierce. Do you remember that movie? Loving her was like shaking hands with the devil. Right. Careful, I am still here. I am happy being the caterpillar, thank you. Yes, I want something. There's a doctor in Chicago who separated the Brody twins. His name is Dr. Oscar Sugar. I want you to help me find him and convince him to perform the surgery. Your secret is safe as long as I get what I want. Where is Ethel? What's going on? Is Ethel's dead? How did you find us? I don't believe you. Why should I trust anything you say? How long do you expect us to stay here? Well, I don't understand. He's gonna operate on us here? Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't. No. I ca How much is this gonna cost us? One of those twins died. That me So we both can live. Well, just imagine it, Bet. You can go to the movies anytime you want. Sing along to the radio and dance all night with one leg. I explain. Bet enough. After all these years together, I want my freedom. A chance at love like a normal woman. How can you not understand that? No. No, I won't. I won't do it. It's barbaric. You're mad at me. I'm not dim, you know. Everyone thinks you're the smart one because you're so practical, but I pay attention. I know they can't separate us fully. One of us can survive that surgery, not both. That's not true. They've learned so much from the Brody case. Oh, please, Doc. Please stop lying to me. I'm so tired of this life of ours, Beth. This infinite, intolerable arranged marriage. Aren't you tired of it? And I don't want you dead. I don't. But I just never dreamed it might be possible for one of us to live a normal life. Mother refused to buy us lace-up shoes because she insisted we would never be able to tie them. But we spent hours working it out till we finally cracked it. Same with needlepoint. There was nothing we could not work through when we put our heads together. No one can understand our burden. You and I have endured a life that would have driven most people mad. But to me, it's been a gift, really. We've been given the opportunity to really love another person. You could never survive without me. I would rather one of us truly live than both of us withering away together. What are you saying? Just that any man would be lucky to have you? And the Tatler sisters will not be defeated. And if it comes to it, if they had to make a choice during surgery that only one of us would live, I want to give my life to you, sister. I want to give my life so you can have one. I love you, Beth. I love you, Doc. We were about to do something horrible. Not we. Me, I was. I thought I knew what was best, but I was wrong. I thought the only way I could be happy, the only way I could feel whole, was to be separated from my sister. I thought Bet was the problem, but she wasn't. It was me. My sweet, sweet sister is the purest part of my soul. 
We're family. We belong together, and I know that now. But you're not alone. And you never have to be alone again. Jimmy, darling, I have loved you since the first moment I set eyes on you. You were warm, and you were kind. And you looked right at me. You didn't flinch, not even a bit. And in that moment, I felt I could face anything with you by my side. You are the only man for me. Because you're like us. Different, but special. Let me take your pain away. Replace it with love. I support Dot. And Dot wants you. Not many men can boast of a blonde and a brunette for a while. Mm -hmm. well, didn't you like it? Two souls, two mouths, devoted only to you, to pleasing you. It could be that way always. She's a very lucky girl. We want to help. Dot and I don't have much. We were saving for something, but our plans have changed. We want you to have it. Use this money to get Jimmy a proper lawyer. I'm going to punch her in the face. Don't let her get to you. Let me handle this. People don't always take too kindly to us at first glance. You can be his champion, like Margaret O'Sullivan and Let Us Live, crusading to save Henry Fonda. I... Don't you talk about my sister like that. Jimmy thinks you walk on water, but you don't fool me. You are a phony. And you don't really love Jimmy? Because when you love someone, they come first. How can you be so cold? Jimmy could end up like Meep. Is that what you want? You do right by Jimmy. These last nightmarish months have revealed the powerful, unexpected truth in those words. With every reason to hide themselves away, Bitter and self-pitying, they do the opposite. They are, in fact, the most joyous people on earth. The reason? They believe in absolute pleasure. The very thing we've been taught to deny ourselves our whole lives. <laughs> we are where we belong. This place, these people are our world. And it is like a banquet full of delicious possibilities. But our top priority is sex. I said kiss me, not lick me. Bet, I do believe this young man's making eyes at you. I think he's wonderful. He's very handsome. He could be the one. Let's just hope that war wound didn't break anything important. Why are you telling us all this? You're ruining the surprise. Why? Because we're freaks? Do you really think we're beautiful? But we are ready. Oof. And we choose you to deflower us. We may be just off the farm, but we can tell when a man is flirting with us. With both of us. You were the first person to ever do that. Whatever you need. Can we put her away? Mm. Just this once. She's watching us. Thank you, Chester. Did you ever imagine that it would feel like that, Dot? And thank goodness you said something about Marjorie. To his credit, all he needed was that little nudge. I do seriously believe we're a good influence on him. What are you doing here? How dare you? Just walk into our boudoir in the middle of the night. Yeah. We don't want to hear anything from you. Kindly leave. I think you should know we met a man. We don't need to see that. What is wrong with you? You are a troublemaker. And we don't trust you, not one single bit. He looks so normal. I thought we agreed that we wouldn't judge him until we had definitive proof. What about the file? It said he murdered his wife. You're letting Dandy's lies cloud your judgment. Do the facts. Dot and I have had a talk. We don't care to be your assistant any longer. Why? We just don't wish to. We are not getting into that box. No, Chester. We are not getting into that box. You need to leave. You're monsters. They have been plotting their revenge all day. 
in Ethel's caravan. They're going to kill you. Ethel was more a mother to them than you ever were. You murdered their true mother. No. Everybody knows that now. What? Who's desperate now? Anywhere but here. Now we're even. My faithful partner in life. And my one true love. Of course. Bet and I have talked about this. We both agree you should have your privacy. It's an old trick. I've been doing it since we were little. I just leave my body. First things first. We have prepared a gorgeous wedding feast of all of your favorites. The housekeeper we hired, she's a French trained To my new wonderful husband. To our wonderful new husband. How many children are you proposing, Mr. Ma? We can certainly try. <laughs> you feeling all right, Danny? Oh. You've been had. Did you honestly think for one second that we'd lay with you in your bed after you massacred our entire family? Oh. We don't want your blood money. Your death can't come soon enough. My sister is truly a great actress. Betty Davis couldn't have given a more convincing performance. <laughs> Sit down, Dandy. Sit down! Night, night, Dandy. Night, Dandy. Well, you're about to go home. Right down to hell. I hate you. I hate you! For taking my friends from me! I felt so blessed to finally have friends. You took them all. I feel like I've seen this act before.